Guys, the time has come for us to have a serious conversation about the Benchmade 940. I've been labeled as a hater. Um, I've had people tell me, you just don't understand it. I do. I absolutely love the Benchmade 940, but I absolutely hate a lot of things about it. So let's talk about my love-hate relationship with the Benchmade 940 right now. Guys, I've been thinking about how I want to do this without causing a bunch of drama, but I've got an unpopular opinion. As much as I love the Benchmade 940, I just think that it's a design that needs some work. And, and the main thing I want to tell you guys is I love the idea of the 940. I love the way it looks. I love the way it carries. I love the, the whole slim EDC profile. You get a full EDC knife in a very slim package. But the fact is there are so many things about this knife that are at odds with itself that make it less desirable to me than something that absolutely fits the bill better, that doesn't try to be too much. That's the problem is I feel that the Benchmade 940 has for years tried to do too much in itself. So let's look at the really good points of this knife. So Benchmade has done a really good job with the Osborne 940 design. They really have allowed this design to continue and it is one of their, it's one of their flagship designs. Um, Osborne has passed away now and this is a little bit of immortality for him that this knife lives on and will for a very long time. And I can appreciate that. That being said, I also love the fact about it that you have got a full EDC. You're looking at, on the mat, just shy of eight inches. Just shy of an eight inch full length EDC that gives you a very slim package. It's easy to carry. It's comfortable in hand. And it carries very, very well, and it's done light. The access lock was a game changer when Benchmade came out with it. It allowed you to have a very smooth deployment without needing to put your hands in front of the fall of the blade. You can open that knife and close that knife and never once need to put your thumb across to disengage a liner lock or any of those things. And it does give you a very, very strong lockup because that bar, that crossbar, that sliding bar lock slides across onto that tang pretty far, as you can see, and there's not much chance that that's going to slip. And it's easy to disengage. It's truly ambidextrous. And they even give, are giving you a big, easy to use, nice, flat uh, carry pocket clip. So that pocket clip sits in the pocket beautifully. And the knife itself is just striking and gorgeous with all the lines. Even if you leave it green with the pink backspacer and all that, it is a striking, striking, striking tactical looking design. That being said, it tries to do too much. The What they tried to do was give you a slim, thin EDC, but then they also gave you this huge, thick, heavy duty, um, hard use EDC blade. Wait, this is one of those cases where you should have went one or the other because the problems you have are this blade is so, so super thick behind the edge. Even I've, even though I've taken this angle back and I've given it the edge I want, it still doesn't cut well. You get a lot of resistance in the cut. And once you get resistance in the cut like that, in a knife this slim, you're really having to bear down and push and you're engaging all these muscles. You're going to get hand fatigue. You can't cut as long. It doesn't do good for fine tasks. If you're needing to cut something or whittle something or do some like outdoor tasks where you're like maybe feather sticking because it's so blunt, it just breaks everything. And you're forcing that blade through the material as opposed to allowing it to glide through. Now people are going to go, well, 30 years ago, they weren't concerned about that. I understand that. That's why I'm saying this is a timeless classic that needs to be revisited. The other thing too is Benchmade has really offered a lot of different versions of this knife, but at the price point, you're not getting a, you're not getting anything special. You're getting a knife that yes, is a full thin EDC 
in a thin package, but it's also very expensive. Some of these variants of this knife are like $320 now, pushing the same price as knives that are better in the category. Um, the other thing too, Benchmade is famous for this. All of their access locks have had issues. By the time I get a smooth action on this knife, which this does have a very smooth action, it snaps, you can flick it with the, with the access lock. But the fact is, I have a lot of blade play in this. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but there's a lot of blade play back and forth across that. Because if I tighten this down to get rid of the blade play, it's almost impossible. You almost have to open it with two hands. And so I just think that I'm not bashing on the 940 that I think it's a bad knife. I think it's a knife that I love and I wanted for years, but it needs to be moved forward. This is the people that always are talking about, well, they didn't, it's a 30 year old design and they didn't think about it back then. That's great. A lot of designs get revisited and improved and improved upon. And it, the, the, the fact is that this knife just for me is not worth the money. It wasn't worth the money for, to me when they were 180. And it's definitely not now where they're pushing some of them, the 300, they're over $300 in some of these. So for me, the lack of improvement and the lack of quality control, if you want to know the truth on a lot of the bench made knives has my, been my big thing. And I love, Benchmade. I, it, it, this isn't coming from a, a fact like the, me bashing on Benchmade doesn't come from me hating Benchmade. I love Benchmade. I had a lot of Benchmades. I love a lot of the Benchmade designs and models. I just feel that at this point, Benchmade overall, and especially in this model, are not providing you the level of quality, the level of knife that you can get at a lesser price and done better. It's just sad. And it really is frustrating that these companies do that. And like I said, I remember before they were, before they were bench made, they were Pacific cutlery. They were some of the best knives you could ever get. The Osborne designs have always been gorgeous. And like I said, this was a grail knife for me that I just couldn't justify purchasing. And then I got one as a gift. This won't ever go anywhere. I love the design. I love everything about it and the immortality that this brings forward. Like I said, the designer has passed away and it's still such a popular design. But I can also look at it from a standpoint of it's a it's an awesome, awesome, timeless design that either needs to be revisited and fixed. Sorry about that. There's a motorcycle screaming down. What I was saying, they either they either need to revisit this and upgrade this to a knife that does one or the other. Either it's a slim EDC or it's a heavy duty EDC. The Contigo, which is very similar to this, I don't have as many of the issues with as I have with this. It's a bigger knife, it's more comfortable, things like that. So, you know, it's just, it's one of those things that that I, I can look at it and say, there are people that love this knife and just get upset when you say anything negative about it. But the fact is, it's just a knife that has aged and has not aged as well as others. So there you go, guys. That was all I wanted to say on that. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and I'll send you out about your day. There you go, guys. I kind of had to do this because there's just so many people that just misunderstand what I'm saying, misconstrue what I'm saying. It's just like, oh, you're a hater. You don't understand that knife. I absolutely understand the 940, and it's a knife I've absolutely loved for years, and including Benchmade and as a company and several others which were American-made companies that I truly, truly love, but now I'm kind of disappointed in because I just feel like they're banking on their name, they're not providing the quality product that they used to, and they're just overcharging. So I absolutely understand this knife, I love it. I know I'm gonna get some hate over this because people are still gonna hear this and just, they're. I'm only responsible for what I say, not what you hear. The 940 is an amazing concept of a knife, but if you were to take this, and modernize this and bring it into the new and offer something that does the things that a lot of the knife enthusiasts, instead of going, oh, it's a 30 year old knife. It wasn't designed like that. But if you were to give the people that want that, what they want in this package, it will fly off the shelves even more than it does now. So 
there you go. No, not hate. I've loved Benchmade since before they were Benchmade. So that's it on this one, guys. Um, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why, unless it's just that, like, you're just uh, here's hate the 940. I don't want to hear that. That's not, because it's not true. Um, if you want to support the channel, the best way you can do is like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you hit the bell icon, make sure you set it to all and make sure you've got notifications turned on your device. And if you want to support the channel financially, I have affiliate links, a ton of affiliate links down below. I'm even going to put a link to the 940 down below in case you do want to purchase one to check it out yourself. Um, but any of the affiliate links you use directly support the channel. They don't cost you anything extra at checkout. And the Amazon ones, absolutely, you can buy anything you want on Amazon. Just use the search tab after you click on it. Coffee Brand Coffee, 5% off if you use my cute, my, uh, my affiliate link. And Doll Strong Knives has a huge selection. of Kitchen Knives probably got exactly what you're looking for, so go check them out. Other way you can do it is I have a membership. All the members have access to my Gilded server, which is just like Discord. Baseline and premium tier members are automatically into giveaways, automatically entered into giveaways I do. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube that's behind the paywall. Uh, guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. Please, this is going to be a rough one, I know. Uh, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.